Hey, what's up, y'all? Connor here, Exploring Outdoor Rec. Back at it again with the Dama Stand Up Inflatable Paddleboard. We're gonna unbox it today and, of course, test it out. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at some of the contents. It comes with this ocean bag, these paddles that float, a nice sturdy pump that we'll get to use in a sec. Comes with a phone bag, the repair kit, strap, the skeg, and another strap for the bag. And, of course, the unit. So let's get it rolled out here. All right, so here's what it's looking like rolled out. It's about 11, 11 feet long. It's gonna be 32 inches. All right, let's blow it up and we'll, we'll see how long it takes. We're gonna time it actually. All right, we're gonna pump it up now. And there's this little screw thing right here. You gotta make sure that it's up and not down so that the air can't go back in. So to pump it up, just push it in and you turn it. And we're gonna get up to about 15 PSI, which it has a little gauge right here. It is definitely pumped up. And that took two and a half minutes. All right, we got it blown up. It's pretty, pretty solid. I don't think it's, it says it's not gonna bend at all. And I don't think it's gonna bend, so. All right, I think we're ready to throw it in the water and we'll test it out. Um, let's throw her in. First impressions, it's pretty sick. It's really, it's pretty wobbly though. It's kind of hard to stand up on. So it's pretty wobbly, kind of hard to stand up on. Probably just take some practice, get used to. Really hard to start from the feet. Probably need to start from the knees and then stand up and then bend the knees a little bit and just get going. Goes pretty fast too. So I'm gonna do a quick lap and y'all can see how it works. All right, we're taking off on the two, the two person test right now. It says hold about 350 pounds, which is pretty much the average inflatable holding weight. And together we got about 320. So it should float and it is. And I'll keep you updated. Pretty fast, probably going about eight, eight to nine miles an hour. How fast would you say that is? Probably like at least 12, 12 or 13 we're saying. Check the glide, the power strokes on the paddles. Look at that. That oh, that's the shot right there. Coming in hot on the port. Probably dock soon. The two-person test held up. All right, it floated, it worked. Shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, it's inflatable. Now, 
for the durability test. We took the skeg out and we're gonna try to make it down all three shoots. And if we survive to the bottom, it's worth the buy. I should be standing up because it is a stand-up paddleboard. He volunteered to be the standard. <laughs> Not quite. Send it. nothing not even a scrape that might have hit a rock right there but listen there's no damage to it it passed the test all right one more thing it comes with this watertight bag for your phone we're gonna slip the phone in there and we'll get some underwater footage give it the exploring outdoor rec rating of a eight out of ten two points off just because it's wobbly and you got to get used to standing up on it but if you're laying down or on the knees and you start paddling you can fly through the water it's a lot of fun it's pretty cool all right we're gonna go through the deflation process now gonna unscrew this oh! and you can screw it down to where it stays down Music montage going on right now. 